and Skidell seem destined to play the game of basketball, but not always in a gym. And we lived in the country, and I'd go outside and practice basketball on the dirt with the goal higher than it's supposed to be, which I just love to play. I'd be out there just me and the goal and the dirt and the ball playing basketball. When I was out there shooting those baskets and they kept going in, I thought, I'm pretty good at this. Eventually, Jane Skiddell would make her way inside, join the Sundown Roughettes basketball team, where she would score 4,053 career points and set three state records, one which still stands today. To look back this past year, I had to go through my write-ups. I was shocked to see that I had scored over 4,000. Um, it was just, I was ready for the next phase in my life. Get married and have a family and raise them to be good kids and that's what I did and that's what I'm proud I did. And after not thinking about basketball for more than 50 years, Jane Skiddell got a call that brought back all the memories. Well, when I got that call, I really thought, are you sure? Have you got the right number? <laughs> but after talking to Coach Etheridge, I realized she did aim to call me. When we walked into the hotel lobby, there was a stand of pictures of all of us being inducted into the Hall of Fame. And then I think it really hit me to see my picture along with all those other great players and coaches. And I thought, wow, this is really happening. And then I got a little nervous. But even with all her accomplishments, Jane Skiddell says she wants to be remembered for something completely different. I love my family, my husband. I hope I was a good wife and mother. Grandma, daughter, sister, and to be inducted into the Hall of Fame was just more added on. It was great, amazing.